Hi everyone, this is Chandeep Chhabra at Goodly. I'm sure all of you have heard about uh, The Three Musketeers, the novel. And The Three Musketeers were actually uh, great inseparable friends that used to stay together all the time. I have something similar uh, in uh, PowerPoint. Uh, I call them The Three Musketeers in PowerPoint. These are uh, Control, Alt and the Shift keys in PowerPoint. So great keys uh, with great utilities. Let's see how we can use them uh, to our benefit uh, while working in presentations. The first one, the control key. So uh, what a control key can do for you is uh, it can copy. Let's see how we can copy using control key. So I am going to go to insert and probably insert any shape. Uh, let's say insert a, a rectangle here. Okay. So drawing a rectangle. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I want to make another copy of this rectangle. So I will hold the control key on my keypad. Uh, I will drag this object to wherever I want to copy it. Holding the control key, I do not have to leave it. So I drag it anywhere when I, wherever, wherever I want to copy it. So let's say um, I want to copy it here. Now, I will leave the click of the mouse first and then leave the control key and this object will be copied. So you can copy any object. So again, I'm going to copy it just as the same way, holding the control key. Sorry. Uh, so holding the control, uh, so selecting this object, holding the control key, dragging it to the place and then leaving the click first and then the control key. So the control key actually is a great key to copy any object, any chart, any text, uh, any shape, any picture, anything that you would want to copy in uh, PowerPoint. So just going to take it off, uh, take all these objects off. Okay. Now, what the other uh, thing that uh, the control key can do for you is it is that it can alter the size of any shape from all the sides. So let me just pick up this shape. Okay. Now. If I want to increase the size of this rectangle, so what I generally do is I uh, let me just zoom in here. Okay. So what I generally do is uh, I pull the node, uh, which is at the left, uh, right, bottom corner, and I drag it. But if you realize that uh, when I pull this node, the rectangle is getting enlarged from only this side and this side because I'm pulling this node. So this node is linked to this side and this side. Now what if I want to uh, enlarge the rectangle from all the sides? So it's not complicated. It's pretty simple. You can just hold the control key on the keypad, pull any node, this one let's say, and it's getting enlarged from all the sides. So yeah, you can actually alter the side, the size of any object uh, with holding the control key, and it'll the size will be altered from all the sides, so all the sides. So you just see that all the sides. I'm just holding the control key and I'm increasing the size again. Okay. Uh, and all right. So this is another great utility of the control key. It lets you alter the sides, uh, the uh, the size of any object from all the sides, and it lets you copy as well. Let's just take a look at the next one. Next we have uh, the shift key. Let's see its utility. So I have three here. Uh, the first one is a parallel movement. Let's see what do you mean by that. Okay, I'm going to insert uh, any object. So let's say an arrow this time. So I'm just going to draw it. Okay, uh, just going to zoom in here. Okay, now let's say I want to move uh, this uh, this uh, arrow. Sorry, I just just gonna, just gonna move this. Uh, I'm just getting running short of words, so I'm just gonna move this uh, arrow towards the right. But I, when I move this to the right, I want to make sure that uh, I do not lose the alignment. So what I mean to say is that the alignment should remain the same. You know, so let's say. Uh, I'm just going to draw a line just to help you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, this is a perfect one second. I think I chose the wrong line. So insert, 
shape and I'm just going to pick up a line. Okay. So uh, I have a line, so this is touching this. So when I just move this to the right, I just want to make sure that this is always touching or this is always in alignment. I, I don't want to kind of lose the alignment. This is what I want to do. Uh, assuming that I do not have the line, so I'm just going to take off the line. I just drew it to kind of make you understand. So the shift key is going to come in play. The shift key, you can hold the shift key and you can drag this object to the right and this object will always be moving in parallel direction. So it, it could move parallelly on, on the horizontal side and it could also move parallelly on the vertical side. So you never have to ever worry about that is your object you know, moving parallelly uh, in direction or not, uh, either through the side, the horizontal side or on the vertical side. Let's just take a look at the next one. So alter the size with the arrow keys. So what I mean to say is that, let's say I have this object again. I'm just going to copy this object with the control key. So I have this arrow again and I let's say I want to alter the size of this arrow. So what I generally do is I uh, increase the size from here or I increase the size from here. The other alternative that you have is uh, that you can hold the shift key on the keypad and uh, while holding the shift key you can just walk around with the arrow keys so the right arrow key is going to let you uh, increase uh, the width and uh, the top arrow the bottom arrow key is going to uh, let you increase the height of uh, any shape so it could be probably be any shape i'm just going to insert another shape let's say this is a square or probably a rectangle not really a square so let's say if I want to alter the shape of this, so I'm going to hold the shift key on my keypad and then uh, tap the right arrow key a couple of times to increase the width of this, tap uh, the top arrow key holding the key, holding the shift key is going to increase the height of this. So pretty pretty useful, uh, useful key, you know, useful uh, keys for the benefit. Uh, you can just do a lot of things here. Let's just discuss the next one. We have uh, draw perfect shapes. So what, I, what do I mean by perfect shape? So a perfect shape is uh, anything like a rectangle, I'm sorry, anything like a square, or a perfect circle, or an equilateral triangle, or a rhombus. So let me see that how we can do that. So I'm just going to go to shapes, insert shapes, and let me just pick up a rectangle. If you just see that there is no square here, there's a rectangle, there's an oval, and there's an isosceles triangle. So you don't have a square here. So let me just pick up a rectangle and try and draw a square. So if I just try and draw a square, I would probably not be sure that is this a perfect shape or not. I always have to kind of, you know, uh, believe on my, you know, eyes uh, or intuition of my eye that you know this is nearly a square. But if you just see this, this is uh, 3.58 uh, on the width and this is 3.63 on the height. It's not really a square. Um, on the contrary, if you draw the same object holding the shift key, it draws a perfect square. So I'm just going to go to the insert tab again, pick up that same shape, and hold the shift key on my keypad, and then drag while holding, and it's going to come up as a perfect square. Just take a look. The height is the same as the width. So you can draw perfect shapes. Now, while drawing a perfect shape, uh, uh, I said that you can use a shift key to draw a perfect shape. It could be a circle or anything. But uh, you can also, what you can do is, you can hold the shift and the control together so that uh, you, the size is coming up equally from all the sides. You see that? I'm just holding the shift and the control together. Whereas, when I leave the control, the size is just increasing from one of the sides. Okay, so that is what uh, a control and the shift can do together. Let's just come on to the last one that I have for you today is the Alt key, which is a free uh, movement with the mouse. So let's see what do I mean by this. Um, so let me just insert another shape. Uh, let's just pick up uh, a triangle this time. This is a triangle. Now, when I'm trying to move the triangle uh, by the mouse without using any of the three musketeers, control shift to the Alt key, let's see what happens. So, 
you see this is this is kind of getting uh, snapped to the grid lines you see that as soon as I take it close to the grid line it just gets snapped to the grid lines or, or to the right or any of the objects so when you want a little more smoother movement so I'm just going to zoom in a little more when you want a little more smoother movement and you don't want these jerks in the movement hold the alt key on the keypad and then try and move look how the smooth the movement is it's not getting snapped anywhere so I'm just going to zoom out and try and snap it to the line this grid line here this line here I'm holding the alt key and I'm dragging it down it doesn't get snapped you see that so the alt key kind of allows you for a smoother movement or a free movement with the mouse let's see uh, what we can do with uh, uh, you know the alt key mode so we have rotate shapes with the arrow keys so let's say I have the same object I'm just going to copy this object here and now the trick was that I held the alt control key and I just dragged the object to the right and I just you know got a copy of it so just like this I'm holding the control key and I got a copy just a recap of what we did earlier yes we are on the alt key and uh, I'd like to show you that uh, how could you rotate any shape with the arrow keys this is the shape and I'd like to rotate it so uh, just hold the alt key and uh, tap the right uh, arrow key button and you see that uh, you can actually rotate the shape uh, in any direction so you tap the left arrow key and you can rotate it in the other direction anti-clockwise all right so these are three uh, musketeers uh, um, that, that I call them and um, they're really really helpful uh, you can also use uh, them in combination uh, control and shift together uh, sometimes uh, shift and all together and they really are very very powerful uh, to help you work around with finer you know alignment in PowerPoint well, thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed this video and uh, do take care of yourselves. Goodbye.